So Ian runs an online store for stuff, baby handprints or something, and he sells these memory plates in two sizes. That's what we're given here. So we got this paragraph, and it's describing a situation where you have to determine how many of one thing he sells. In this case, it's small plates for $50. And how many of another thing he sells? Large plates for $85. So they're going to give us some clues here. Um, one of the clues is that the amount of money... Uh, here we go. Come on. Stop being dumb. The amount of money received for large plates was equal... Mm -hmm, was equal to the amount received for small plates. Okay, so let's try to put that into an equation. How much money did you receive for these large plates? Well, I'm going to say the number of plates that were large that he sold is called L, right? I know it's, it's real creative, but L is the number of large plates, plates, and they were $85 each. Okay, L times 85, that's how much money he got for large plates. And that was equal to the amount he got for small plates. I'm going to say the number of small plates is S, and those were sold for $50 each. So there, I just turned this big sentence here, look at all those words, I turned that into a nice, neat equation. And we need another equation, because you can see there's two variables, L and S, and if I have two variables, I need two equations. So what, what else do I have in this? Well, let's take a look. Um, keep on reading. Customers purchased 108 total plates, okay? Well, what that means is the number of large plates plus the number of small plates equals 100, and let's try to write this correctly, 108. So now I have two equations and two unknowns, and I can solve those for S. So to solve them for S, it means I want to get rid of L. Let's just do that. Let's say L equals 108 minus s. Okay, I just rearranged this equation just a little bit. And now I'm going to take that, we're going to call this first thing equation 1, and this one right here in equation 2. And I'm going to plug equation 2 into equation 1. Watch this. I'm going to say 108 minus s. Remember, that's L. L times 85 equals s times 50. Well, instead of L times 85, I've said 108 minus S times 85. And the reason I've done that is so that I have one equation right here, this guy, which only has S in it. And if I solve that for S, I'll know my answer. So uh, this is going to require a calculator because I need to know what 108 times 85 is. So 108 times 85. This is going to be 9,180 minus 85 S equals 50 S. Well, keep on working with that. That's 9,180 equals 135 S. See, I'm, I added 85 S to each side. And now we divide each side by 135. And that gives you S equals 68. So 68 small plates were sold. And if they wanted to know the, the large number of plates, I'll bet that's 40 because they have to add up to 108 total. Uh, and here's your answer. This is how you go about solving what's called a system of equations. It's two equations with two unknowns. And I think what makes it challenging in this one is perhaps they don't tell you what the two equations are. You have to build them out of this paragraph.